Oh, hi! Tim Cruz along with Felicia. We are here live on the Celebrity Edge. Can you believe this? The first cruise leaving an American port since 2020. Come on in, come on in, don't be scared. Now this is called a Sky Suite. And this is a beautiful, look at this room. It's just gorgeous. I mean, take a look at this. There's a lot of room in here. Typically, when you go on a cruise, it's like this small little dinky room and you're walking around like this. So we upgraded just a schmidge <laughs> and got a Sky Suite. So this is really, I think it's the smallest of their suite class, but still a lot of room to really expand. I mean, look at this balcony, my God. We're still in port here in Fort Lauderdale. We officially leave at about six o'clock PM this evening, we're gonna pull out and they're gonna do some big ceremony because this is a big deal. This is actually a historical moment. Again, it's the first time a cruise ship has left an American port since 2020. So that's a pretty big deal. So let me tell you, we got on the ship and we met Captain Kate. <laughs> she kind of surprised us, we didn't expect her. And I had my captain's jacket, it's on TikTok. It's all over TikTok and people are freaking out because I had my hat and my seven stripes and two stars and she's like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. I mean, you can see it for yourself, Captain Kate McHugh on TikTok and Instagram, okay? But the point is, she's fabulous. I feel safe. I feel like everything's going to go great because she's in command. I just feel like she has, because there's something about women bosses. They have logic and empathy more than men have. Men bosses kind of stink. I don't know what the deal is with men bosses, but women bosses are just fabulous, okay? Like, you're fabulous. And thank you for tuning in today on Amazon Live. All right, I'm gonna tell you, there's no one else in the world seeing this. We were gonna do this on YouTube also, but we didn't because we wanted people on Amazon Live to see this first. So you're the first person in the world to ever see an Amazon Live on a cruise ship. And I'm so proud of that. So thank you, thank you for being here. So let's show you how we set up a room on a cruise ship. This is 11206, it's a beautiful room. It's called a Sky Suite, a little bit bigger, a little more expensive than a typical room, but still affordable for most people, most families. I think you can sleep four in here. I think they can do a pull-out couch, um, but very, very comfortable too. That looks like a king-size bed, doesn't it, Felicia? It is a king-size bed. It's actually two beds put together, but you can't feel There's like a topper in the middle, so you can't really feel the middle of this thing. It's awesome, look fabulous. <laughs> I love it. I... Oh, can't sleep here on Amazon Live. Okay, look. So these tips we're going to tell you is how to set up a room on a cruise. But these tips are also applicable for, say you live in a small dorm, or you live in a small apartment, or you're going to a hotel and you travel a lot. These tips you'll find extremely helpful if you're traveling or you're in a confined space because we're going to tell you a lot of tips and tricks that we use. We've been on, this is our 66th cruise. Six, we just met another couple who's only 62. We're like, 62, amateurs. <laughs> and um, why don't I show you the room first? Rosalinda so, says hi. Hi, Rosalinda. Good to see you. Benica. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come Okay, check it out. <laughs> so this is our king bed. And a lot of room in here, okay? It's just a pretty little room. Look at the balcony. Can you see the balcony, Felicia? Will that bring the light out? really really pretty i mean we're looking at the crappy fort lauderdale port which is kind of lame and unexciting but we're about to hit the ocean for the first time in over 14 months i am so excited i could never mind all right come here and look at this all right can you see this here i'm going to turn the lights on see if you can see that oh i just turned everything off oh my god so ample closet space look at this so this ship was i think it opened in 2018 and it's been kind of down it was 2018 2019 took a break obviously in 2020 but they really have some really interesting design features this closet is bigger than i've seen in a lot of suites it is a really big closet it is yeah. but i understand in the regular rooms through the inside rooms they're big as well they finally understood storage and there's another closet over here which is crazy come over this way you can see this one a second closet Look at all complete the shelves all the shelves and drawers underneath and a safe, safe built right What's in What's that in the black, the black bag? This is, <laughs> believe it or not, these are binoculars. Stop. So they give you binoculars to oh, use. Oh, cool. And they're, I think they're like night vision or something too. They're kind of cool. You can't keep these, can't take them home or they'll bill you for them, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Might take them home. And um, do you want to show them the family room first? Like the open area, like the living space? 
All right, so this is really cool because you get this area which functions as a desk. And check this out. I'm going to push it in. It actually slides in. I'm not going to push it in all the way. It slides so if, all the way in so, so that you, you have a full-length mirror with any, without obstructions. Exactly. Yeah. So you could use this as a vanity. I'm going to use this as a desk to do my work here. And I thought that was just a great idea. Lots of drawer space here. And also this, this is a refrigerator slash you can lock it too. So you could take their stuff out and put your stuff in. So you've got refrigeration in here, which is really nice. In the suites, they give you a bottle of bubbly, which I've already dug into. <laughs> and some more drawers over here. What's that? <gasps> is this a tote for us, Felicia? I'm going to keep it forever. It has a big X on it, like my ex-wives. <laughs> and then this one here, which there are many of. Oh, there's a separator in here. That's kind of nice, too. They give you some face masks, some hand sanitizer. And um, it's just a really cute, and they give us chocolate. Have you dug into that yet? I haven't dug into chocolate yet. Look at that. And these are the outlets here. So you do 220, 110. Obviously, most United States people do 110 with USBs. That's nice. So you charge your phones right in here, and it closes, and the cords can come out right here. It keeps it real neat. Um, over here, you have two sides to the bed. Normally, in a lot of these rooms, the bed is pushed up against the wall, so you got to climb over your significant other to get out. This has a nice walking space, complete with power here and two USB ports on this side. And somebody's blinking on our phone. I think Captain Kate, we're in trouble. <laughs> We've been interviewed. We tried not to get interviewed by anybody, but NBC cornered us. We're on NBC News tonight. <laughs> we couldn't stop it. We're like, hey, I'm seeing her. It's too late. We're already halfway through our conversation. And this side does not have power on it. So let's keep talking. And this is the, check out the bathroom in this place. All right, wait, go inside real quick. I want to show this window. Hi! <laughs> now it's kind of weird that you see somebody in a bathroom, but you can close this and you've got privacy. And now I see mirrors inside here. So that's kind of cool. But what's really fabulous about this is when you open it up, you've got a ton of daylight in here. That's it's so a, cool. <laughs> a really well lit bathroom complete with its own vanity over here with a full well, a half length mirror. And this mirror is also included here. What's really neat, typically under these sinks, this is one of these new fas fashions sinks. And they've got some drawers under here. I think this one opens too, doesn't it? How did they open this under the sink fully? Like how, what kind of magic is going on here? I don't even understand. Your hair dryer's here, so you have three drawers in the bathroom, which I've never seen in a cruise ship before. Even in suites, they don't have this kind of space. Full shower with a little bathtub, and that's just fabulous. Look at that. Normally, it's like this little stall shower, and you have problems even turning around, especially if you have a little extra weight like me. And um, But this is just amazing. And a separate poopy room. Look separate room so you don't have to you can actually use the facility while somebody else is taking a shower if you like each other like that i don't know what your personal relationship is it's your own thing you do you as felicia always says what is this oh never mind <laughs> okay so let's get into it oh this thing too this um, is what is it go ahead What'd you say? Nothing. Go ahead. Talk to me. Sorry, I was going to point out your hat. It's oh, my captain's hat. Is that the first thing in our carousel? It is. Look, the captain of this ship, Captain Kate, was very impressed. Keep keep calling me captain, because typically <laughs> when you get a captain's hat, they're these cheesy, like floppy hats, you know, that you wear on Halloween. But this is really nice, because it's got some stability. It stands up in here. It actually has a plastic ring in here which kind of holds its shape. So it looks like a legit captain. Everywhere I saw the captain eye in this hat. She wanted this hat. <laughs> Everywhere we go, they call you captain. And I may buy one of these for her. That's Shh, funny. I'll tell her that too. This is a legit captain's hat. It's really nice. It's pretty affordable too. It's in the carousel below. So if you've ever done any cruising or even if you have your own boat or you go cruising or go boating with somebody else, you need this hat. Believe me, it will elevate your status. People are throwing cash at me. I can't count how much cash people have thrown at me. How much cash do you think? <laughs> like two, three dollars? Yeah, Seriously, lucky, cash today, okay? Lucky. I pretty much paid for like 1% of this cruise over like three times already, okay? So this is a great hat. It feels real good. Now, these are real. Like you get in the military or the Navy. So you have to order, you have to measure your head. And you can take like this thing. I think there's like a measuring tape that you do for like dresses and stuff and wrap it around your head and see how many centimeters your head is my head's very big 
So I need to, I think this is a 59. I'm hold back on any comments on that one. <laughs> I'm not sure what <laughs> size this is, but it's fabulous. And look how good I look, okay? You I mean, you can't good. deny, I do look fabulous. Those stripes, though. The stripes we did with the cricket, Felicia, who is the heart of heart, the woman of my dreams, did Aww. this with her cricket. And the captain was blown away. She compared this on TikTok <laughs> with hers. <laughs> you have to see it's the funniest thing ever. We didn't know she was going to be on the gangway walking up to the ship. And she kind of surprised us. She knew where was coming. And she kind of met us out there. And we're like, oh, God, there she is. We weren't ready for it. And um, It was so cool, though, that she was uh, at that point she greeting people. I basically awesome. everybody who got on the ship. I this is a, this awesome. is a historic day. Really, it's the first day the cruising has come back to America, to an American shore since 2020. So this is a big deal. All right, so that's that. Captain Kate is awesome. We're going to be good, I think. We're going to come back to you a couple of days this week, so make sure you hit that follow button, and we'll tell you what's going on. We'll get the first. Actually, you will know before the news stations do, because we have vowed to give you the news first here on Amazon Live. What's going on the cruise? If things go sideways, we will tell you here. We will be completely honest, as we always are right here on this channel. All right, so let's unpack our junk. We have so much stuff here. Um, what's next in the carousel, Your Felicia? passport things that were super, super, super heavy. All right, let me find those. Those are really cool. I'm not going to spend a lot of time describing this stuff because we have so much to go through. This is a great backpack, and we'll talk about this in a second, too. Really, my laptop and my life is in here, pretty much. But look at these zippers. Like, you can't even tell there's zippers here. That's nice. That's They're, nice. like, hidden. You can't even see the zippers, can you? How much stuff you could cram in that It's bag. incredible how much I have, and you have no idea my life, again, is in here. Um, but our passport holders, these are awesome. Rosalinda, we had um, lobster and steak for lunch today. Stop. I had, I, what did I have? Shrimp, too. I had prawn. Oh, you had prawn. Oh, That's so right. good. So good. So these passport holders were super handy to today. Actually, people commented on these when we walked in like, wow, that's a really nice passport holder. So what it is, it's a nice soft leather um, holder with a little magnetic clasp. And you slide your passport in here. It's really easy to slide it in here like this. And it's got lots of storage area and a pen, which we did use earlier. We had to write down some spa services, a guy's number for some stuff we're doing. And it's got some slots in here where you can put credit cards and cash and whatever else you need to carry with you. These are great because typically when you go out on like an excursion, you're going to have to bring your passport if you want to get back on the ship. And that, they, did they check our, our uh, vaccination cards? When they we got did. They, they did. checked our vaccination yeah. cards, which they are did. in here. And Felicia made these cute little things with Cricket. And uh, our vaccination cards are inside here so they won't stick to the plastic. I think that's in the carousel as well. So that's all tucked nicely in here. So if you're cruising in the near future, good idea to protect your passport or your, and your immunization um, record too because you're going to need to show that when you check in at the port. Another thing that's nice about this, because when you put this in your pocket, typically you put your passport in your pocket and it gets all bent up and gnarly and you really don't want that because you don't want to pay to have another one. Also has an RFID chip on it. And this case, when it's closed, it blocks the RFID transmission. So somebody can't clone your passport if they happen to brush up against you. Or if they get close to your bag, they have portable readers. They could read the information on your passport, clone it to another one, another one and commit identity theft. And you don't want that. You want your vacation to be as fun as possible. And you don't want to worry about anything. So these things take care. There's a whole bunch of different colors. They're really affordable. And I highly recommend they fit nicely in your pocket, too. I can't put and it in Rosalinda, there. And Rosalinda, yep, we did get the shot. We did the get cruise. the shot. Yeah, we wanted to do that. I mean, you can get on the cruise without it. But, but they're going to test you. They charge you extra. They, they do. charge you for the test. They and do they probes do. in places I don't even want to talk <laughs> about. It's really they make it really miserable for you. But there's there are two people. There's a test before you get on. That's right. There's a test midway through. And they charge through. you for it. $170 yep, a pop. And there's a test on the end before they'll let you off. So we so did get There are two it. people. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait uh -oh. a minute. The captain's about to speak. <laughs> Hold on. This is important. <laughs> Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. That's not the captain. We'd like to thank all of our guests who have successfully Show completed the, the guest safety briefing at this time. Currently, some of our guests still need to check in for this briefing oh, before yes. we can set sail. If you have not yet checked in at your assigned safety Have you checked station, in, Felicia? Please yes. proceed there now. 
We cannot allow anyone who has not completed this briefing to sail with us today. Someone's in trouble. <laughs> Please be advised that if you have completed the first stage of the briefing via the convenience of the app, all right, I think you can still hear me. Let's continue with So these are our passport holders. Highly recommend. They come in a bunch of different uh, colors, and they are very, very affordable. A great form of protection for your passport. What's next in our carousel? The luggage. The luggage. Oh, my God. I love these things. These are a new Samsonite. I keep calling them Samsung. Look, these are so heavy. Oh! Whoa, almost got you. These are really nice. We've had Samsonite for years, and the thing is that they last forever. They come with a 10-year warranty. These wheels, unlike some cheaper brands, which I will not mention that we have bought, they have fallen off. Wait, wait. What's back, going back on? Back up. What happened to that back train? Up. What is it? Yes, Rosalinda, we are on the Celebrity Edge cruise ship in our room, which happens to be a suite and uh, we're showing you everything that we um, have purchased off of Amazon. Um, to That's make right, this, every to one make of these the, things. To make this um, room, which is not, it's, it's a nice size room, but it's not huge. So we've got lots of little convenient things to help um, maximize space um, in the room. But yes, we are, we are here. We are on the cruise ship. Yeah, let me open that up. You can walk outside and actually see that we are on the cruise ship right now. <laughs> So we're on the cruise ship. We'll go out here on, on our, our balcony. It's got a couple of chairs and a little table. And there's the Celebrity Equinox you can look that down. is not, like, sh not cruising there's yet. There's the lifeboats. And if I look down carefully, I'm scared. Yeah. Is there a lifeboat? And that's called the magic carpet up there. And that's the magic carpet. It's an carpet. elevator that goes up and down. It's like a nice down. bar restaurant that, that rises and lowers when we are um, on a sea day and the weather's calm. But yeah, here's the, uh, the port. This is uh, Fort Lauderdale. Hello, Fort Lauderdale! Woo! Yep, he's loud and rowdy today. Yes, Hi, guys. Ros Rosalinda, you need to buy that hat. Seriously. Now, I'm talking... You need to see Felicia's hat. Let me show you Felicia's hat real quick. Look at Felicia's hat. Does she look styling or what? Look at her. That look good. She look good. Mmm. Mmm. She look good. Cut it out. Let me tell you about her <laughs> spa treatment she's having tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Which is you half the price of a small car. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it's worth it. It's amazing. All right, I'm going to close this door okay. so we can hear. So back to your loud. luggage. All right, back to the luggage. Okay, this Samsonite, we had Samsonite before. It lasted 10 years. It was great. The wheels are great. On the cheap luggage, the wheels may fall off or lock. These things are made very, very well. I mean, you're going to pay a little bit more for this, but there's a reason because there's quality in here. So this set was actually in the TSA lock. Look at this. Can you see this? Watch this. Yes, yeah, so you can set this combination. You see, I've set it to zero, 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 because no one would ever guess that, would they? <laughs> all right, so. No, no, Rosalind, I'm not scared of cruising at all. We do it all the time. Oh, this well, is we our 66th cruise. Before COVID, we were cruising Number all the time. Number 66. It is the best all-inclusive vacation I can ever imagine. It comes with, so, there's so much. I can't believe how much we stuffed in here. Look at all this stuff. I got my bags, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And this is a gift. Shh. Should we show them the gift we made for Captain Kate? Sure. Don't tell Captain Kate, all right? We made her this, Felicia made her this shirt with a cricket called. I Sh didn't really make it for her at first, but Ship you decided just it was. Got, no, you made it for her. That's our story, and we're sticking with it. Ship okay. just got real, so we're going to give that to Captain Kate when we meet her for our photo op a little bit later. And uh, I've got so many things in here. It's got these really cool little straps which hold your stuff in. And look, my stuff actually stayed really, like, Really flat, surprisingly. And I've got a bunch of things on these hangers. I and mean, these hangers are in the carousel as well. These are like flat hangers. They give you hangers in here. Come on over to the closet. I'm actually going to hang these up right. These are my shirts. And they stayed pretty Other well. Other than the top one, um, they all stayed pretty pretty good. They're pretty good. They're pretty yeah. well pressed, right? Not too bad. Super flat. So the, Remember, storage is always a premium on these cruise ships. There's just not a lot of storage. And they give you these chunky wood hangers here. Right. So you see how thick these are. So you really can't put a lot of things in with these. It's good that they give them to you. But now I can hang these up and store a whole lot more in here. Yep, Space that's nice. them out a little bit. Look at that. Look how much I can fit in here. And these hangers are in the carousel too. They have different um, colors and they have a couple of different things. You can put pants on them. You can put scarves on them. You can hang so many things on these hangers. I love them things. I forget what they're called, but they're in the carousel below. They're super thin. 
So this is what we have here. Um, what's next in the carousel? I want to make sure I'm in order so you know what we're your, looking at. Your um, space saver bags. And we need to talk about this in a moment too. So before we do anything legit, we're going to do that. My space saver bags. I'm going to go a little bit out of order here. And this will make sense in a moment. So we pretty much just got in this room. And we've been sitting at the bar for a little while, talking to some other passengers. We we're talking to NBC. Um, we were doing some interviews and people are asking us, are we happy to be back on board? Do things seem normal? And people are asking, why did you cruise today? And we basically answered because we want to feel normal again. I mean, don't you want to feel normal? It's been a really weird year, hasn't it? And we've all stuck together and we've done the best we could. So what we are looking for is a little bit of normalcy, right? I'm sure you are too. And this is one step to getting back to normal. This is a large industry. It's in the media. If this cruise is successful, we will be so much closer to getting back to normal. And I want that for you and us and everybody we know as well. All right, so space saver bags. What these are is something that was kind of handed down from the space industry. They're vacuum sealed. Um, basically, I have like three, four pair of jeans and a bunch of shirts, all my underwear and socks in this tiny, thin little bag. I probably wouldn't have been able to fit all this in my suitcase hadn't I taken the air out of it. So I'm going to open it up and show you what exactly what I have in here. I used a vacuum cleaner through this thing. You just hook a vacuum cleaner up or it does come with a pump because I don't have a vacuum cleaner on this ship. And you basically just put it on like this, you screw it on and you pump the air out. Actually some of the air is seeped back in. And it's got a little seal on here so you don't have to worry about putting this on immediately because it keeps the air in. So I'm going to keep this pump in here. And then when you're ready to open it up, you simply just open. It's like a big Ziploc bag. Make sure you can see this. Can you see this, Felicia? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open this guy up and it's going to let the air rush back in and everything's going to expand. Ready? Go. One, two. <laughs> now it's going to wrinkle a few things. There's going to be a few things. Look at all the stuff I got in here. I mean, you could never fit this much stuff in your suitcase if you didn't take the air out of it. I've got one, two, three pair of jeans, socks, underwear, some shorts, and all kinds of stuff in here that I would never have been able to put into a suitcase had I sucked the air out of it. So that's what's great about these things. When we leave, we're going to put our clothes in there, and I'm going to be a little more sloppy about it because, and we'll show you that process too when we leave, so make sure you follow this channel. And uh, we'll be a little more sloppy because I don't care what it looks like. I was trying to keep the wrinkles out of this stuff. Another tip too, don't close your suitcase until you actually get to the port. We left our suitcases open in the back of the car so our stuff didn't get as wrinkled. Because once you close that, it starts to wrinkle and it's kind of hard to get out. So these are space saver bags. I highly recommend this. We have bigger ones too, which we use for comforters and pillows and stuffed elves and other things we have in our home that we didn't have room for. So you really suck the air of it. It takes about, I would say about at least 50% of the mass out of it. Makes it real easy to stuff under a bed, beside a washing machine, or in storage, wherever you want to keep things. Felicia, what's next in the carousel? Ziplocs. Ziplocs. <laughs> now, everything is in a Ziploc. But I don't like these Ziplocs, because these, you can see, these never stay shut. So these are the good ones here. These are, are they the hefty ones? Yep. Hefty have this little thing on them. And this is so much, I think this is a really ingenious thing. Because this really locks it in. As a matter of fact, if you're clever, you can squeeze the air out of it and lock it in. With these things, they just kind of come apart and there's nothing locking them in. This thing at least has a little lock system here, which keeps it in. Real easy, you can use them a million times. So Rosalinda, your idea is great, but they don't allow steamers or irons on the cruise ships. No, nothing that generates heat. Other than a blow dryer or maybe Actually, a flat the blow iron. dryer, they don't, they're pulling blow dryers out too because they have a blow dryer in here. They include a blow dryer. I don't think, I think they've relaxed it with curling irons. Yes, they have. Because people were freaking out because they couldn't bring their curling irons on board. So I think they've re relaxed that, but they don't want you to have things that produce heat on cruise ships because they could potentially cause a fire. Yep. And a fire on the cruise ship is like the worst thing that can happen. There's nowhere to go and things catch on fire quickly and it's just no bueno. 
Those space saver bags, zip lock bags, a couple of our tips that we use on every cruise to kind of keep things together, especially things that could get wet. These Clorox wipes, there's liquid in here. If these leak through being compressed, because you know what they do with these bags, they just throw them around like crazy. And uh, thank goodness the Samsung bags, Samsonite, they keep calling them Samsung. Samsonite bags last as long as they do. They handle like a lot of monkey business, if you know what I mean. People throwing them around, stamping on them, sitting on them. And I've done all these things to test them myself, and they've been fabulous. So get yourself some hefty Ziploc bags and put your wet stuff in there, your perfumes, your... Um, your shampoos, anything that could potentially leak, make sure it's in a Ziploc bag when you travel with it to a hotel or in your car or on a cruise like this. What's next? What's going on? There's so many things um, going on. Show your luggage tags. Oh, the luggage How did tags. They hold are up? they on this side? Did they hold up okay? Now, these are great. I tell this story all the time. I won't spend a lot of time on them, but they give you paper tags like this. And these things kind of rip. You can see how easy it is to rip. So what these things do is they have a little metal thing which screws on and then you just tuck your tag into this little thing which has a zipper compartment and they don't come off. So if you lose this thing, they're going to put it in a place called the land of no return. It's basically this giant room somewhere in the middle of nowhere and you have to wait until everybody else has got their luggage until you can see it because it's kind of a lost and found. And then you're going to go on and claim your luggage and believe me it is no picnic we have done that before and it's no fun so grab these things put these on your suitcase they're great for flights if you check flights you can put your name and address in here or a picture or some kind of code that you know it's yours there's a lot of bars a lot of bags that go on those um those things that go around an airport the what do they call carousel? carousels yeah luggage, luggage carousel. carousel and this will help you identify there's a lot of bags especially the dark ones that look exactly the same color but i love this color because not many people have Caribbean this blue. and it, i think it's still on sale i'm not sure look in the carousel some of the colors are on sale in the it's carousel it's on sale 25 percent off that's a great deal some of the colors are not on sale some are a little like the pink i think is very very expensive but the, the caribbean blue and i think the black were on sale but check for the sale prices different colors are different prices but definitely worth it and definitely get luggage tags for them what's next in the carousel the um the little bag you put your the little black bag for toiletries Oh, it's the toilet. The that it's is in, in the, the other bag. One. Okay, let me grab that. It's in, in our little one. Samsonite bag. I'm not going to call it Samsung again. Ugh. Hey, Tim, you put the carousel together today. Are there any promo codes for any of the items? There are no promo codes, but a lot of the things in the carousel are already on sale. So I don't have any promo codes for things today, but a lot of that stuff is on sale. And sometimes the sales are better than the promo codes. Believe me, there's not much... Mostly the smaller companies do the, um, the promo codes, but the bigger companies, you just get the big sales. So companies like Samsonite are probably not going to have promo codes, but the smaller companies you may see. Boca K. These are fabulous. These are for your toiletries. Is there anything in your toiletry bag you don't want people to see? <laughs> okay, we'll look at mine. I'm not sure. So these are great, and these are where we keep our toiletries. What is a toiletry, Felicia? Things you keep in the toilet. Oh, yeah. And you can course. keep things like brushes and your deodorant in here and my cologne. Mmm, I'm going to smell good tonight. Yes. Felicia's going to be like, mmm, you smell good. Look at you. Oh, hey. I got oh our gosh. toothpaste and stuff in here and my contact lenses. There's so many things. Like anything basically you're going to put in the bathroom, you could put in here. Look at my brush. Oh, my God. Is that my hair? Nasty. <laughs> Toothbrush. That's where the hair went. Flossers, <laughs> shut up. Your toothbrush and your, everything, basically, your meds. Felicia has a lot of those. And you just put those all in here, and you never know where they, like our suntan lotion in a Ziploc bag. There you go. Okay, right. and everything's in here. Anything they potentially leak, I keep in here, which is a great place to keep it. And what's neat about these things is, where is it? Hey, Paige. Thanks for joining today. Hey, Paige. Where's the hanger thing? Is it inside um, the front? I don't know. Let Mine's right in. Can find. Oh, yours there, is in. Yeah. I think mine actually came off. Mine did come off. All right, so I can show you that these things hang. So anything that you can hang, you see there's a lot more space in this room than there typically is, but this thing's pretty heavy, but you can hang, it hang in this shower. in the closet. Or the closet or the shower. That's right. It's really you a bathroom item. That's right. Oh, not in this one, in this one. 
Can you hang it in the shower? Let's well, try it. Let's not? see what it looks like. It's got shampoos and stuff like that in there. You could hang it on the door sure. like that. Or you could actually hang it on the top of the shower. This thing's glass. I need to do that. Which would make it really easily accessible. Probably hang it over here. Hey, check out how big this bathroom is. Look at that big tub. Mm, you want to get in there, don't you, Paige? Look at this. You want to take a nice oh, bath yeah, up there. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this could all be yours someday if you live on a cruise ship. <laughs> like we're planning to do next year. Uh-oh, secret. So these things are great. I don't know what happened to my hook. I must have taken it off and used it for something else. I don't remember. But even if they don't, they sit on the counter very nicely or in a drawer. Great way to store your, your toiletries if you're traveling, if you live in a dorm, if you're living with other people and you don't want to mess in with your stuff. Just keep everything in here. We did that in a, a house we lived in. We lived with some other person for a while and we kept everything in little tubs. But these would have been so much more. It keeps everybody out of each other. You can get a different color for everybody. I think there's a bunch of different colors and pretty good price on Where's these Where's your too. magnets? Magnets, I think those are, is that next? Let's close that. No. I think those are in here somewhere. So we've got so many things in here. Here are my magnets. There they are, the strongman magnets. And this is interesting. And I'm going to prove, make sure this is legit. <laughs> this is a new cruise ship. Actually, I could be wrong here. But typically on cruise ships, everything is steel. Ooh. Everything is steel. So you should be able to hang everything. I don't know my hanger thing. Will this hang on there? And these things are rated pretty heavy. I don't know if that'll hang. Look at that. So the ceiling is steel. Are the walls steel? Oh, they are. Look. They look wood, but they're steel. Everything is painted or covered steel. So any space where you can hang things and get them off the counters is gonna give you a little more feng shui, a little more space, a little feeling of less congestion. You could hang them maybe on the doors if you had wet towels. No? Oh, there you yep. go, yeah, right here. Yep, there you go. Now these things, this particular set comes with little pads in it so you don't want to mess up the paint. This is a relatively new ship and this will scratch the paint if you are kind of rough with it. But you can pop that right in there and hang your towels here. You can hang your shirts here. If things get wet at the pool, you can hang things and let them dry outside. Actually, that's probably all steel up there too. Probably. So we can hang things out there as well, which is really neat. But the walls, the ceiling, everywhere I look, everything is steel. So use these hangers and uh, you can hang everything. Ooh. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Whoa. These are pretty powerful. These are rare earth magnets. They're very, very strong. Um, they're rated at, I think these are rated at 50 pounds or these are 35. What does it say down there? It um, says 50 pounds, right? It say. 50 pounds. Say, I can't see so it. that's 50 pounds if this is attached directly to solid iron, not painted. So you need to take that down a little bit into consideration. So if it's painted steel like this, it's probably going to hold maybe more like, you'd probably be lucky if you get 10 pounds out of it. But still, that's, I mean, look, it's holding this bag full of all kinds of junk just fine. I wouldn't put that, in, obviously, in the middle. I'd probably put it over here kind of out of the way and if it doesn't work you can put two of them up there yeah this one's a little heavy for that but maybe five or ten pounds it's going to hold that up there just fine and again right there on your wall everything's steel it's perfect what's next in the carousel um it's at the kindle oasis i don't even know where that is do you i think it is might it be in your bag i think it might be in my bag the black the bag all right yeah, let me grab that have you guys closet. used the kindle oasis yet if you've ever used a Kindle, there's a new version of it. Not really new. It's been around for a while. Look at the mess you're making in here. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Look, we're going to set this room up. When we're done today, Oh my gosh. when we are done this today, you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe you fit all that in there so nicely. Well, maybe I should take over unpacking while you film. <laughs> do you want to do that? <laughs> so I can put right. away as So we look go. at this. You've got my an goodness. iPad in here. You've got your laptop. And I don't see the Kindle. Oh, wait, here it is. The Kindle Oasis. I'm going to fix all this, I promise. Let's go mm -hmm. over here and look at this here. So this is the latest Kindle. And we got a nice little case. It's not in the carousel. I couldn't find it. So basically, if you've ever seen the paper white, what it is, it's like paper. and Because the Kindle's like your phone. If you're looking at an iPad or your phone, it's really hard to read outside in the sunshine. 
So what this, uh, what they've done here is essentially made it like paper, which paper is very easy to read in the, uh, did I hit the button right? What am I doing here? Swipe to unlock. So this basically looks like, oh, up and down like this. So you press these buttons. This is the new, one of the new innovations here. So instead of swiping, which you can still swipe, I think, left and right, and you can still bring your menu down, right? You just tap at the top and go to settings. Oh, okay. And then you can change your... And what's neat about this is it has something called warmth, and it actually makes it an amber color. So when you're sleepy, you can actually turn up the amber color and you don't have as much white. So if you're next to somebody who doesn't like the light at night, you can still read at night while they're trying to sleep. You can also set it to dark mode too, which reverses it, which is pretty cool. I don't think warmth has anything to do with dark mode, does it? I don't think so. Couple different versions of this. You'll notice there's an ad supported version and a non ad supported version. The ad supported version, I think is $20 less. And what that does is I will show you, we'll take you back to the lock screen. It gives you advertisements on your lock screen. It doesn't interrupt when you're reading. It doesn't like throw up an advertisement in the middle of your book. But when you open it up, it says, hey, there might be something you might be interested in. I noticed you read some science fiction and fantasy, so click here and I'll show you some of my favorite authors. It's much like um, Netflix or Prime Video, if you're watching a bunch of shows and it'll say, hey, I noticed you watch these shows and so maybe you'll like these too. I think it's a great idea. I think it's worthwhile. The case too, what is this called? Case bot? Mm -hmm. What does this do? This is a stand. Here, you show me how this works. I have no idea what you're doing here. So you could actually use this with Audible as well, and it also will read to you. Look at that. It's got a stand if you want to stand it up like that. That is pretty cool. Master lock set combination. What can that fit inside here? Oh, you can fit your cell phone in here. You can put your passport in that thing. That is very cool. I think that is in my bag. I'm going to come over here, but that Kindle Oasis is nice. It works with the Echo Buds, which are my favorite uh, really my favorite, they're in my pocket here. Let me see if I can find those. Those are little earbuds, Amazon's own brand of earbuds. And you pop these open and they will connect to your Kindle or your phone, enabling you to listen to music and it will also do automatic noise cancellation. So that is incredibly cool. So you won't be able to hear the fan or the engine noise or other strange things that you don't want to hear on this ship. Most of the new earbuds have automatic noise cancellation. The Apple ones do, the Samsungs do, but these are my favorite pound per pound. I really think that these are the best sound. They come with four different earbuds, four different sizes. And really the sound of these things are very, very dependent on how well you match those earbuds, those, the little rubber bushings that go inside your ear how well you match that size with your ear because it really insulates very, very well. But these are my favorite. Felicia prefers the Samsungs. I don't know if she knows where those are, but I mean, they're purple. We don't need to see those, but those are the Samsung. She likes those. I like the Amazon Echo Buds too. And uh, really it's a, a matter of preference, but match them with your ears. Make sure that they fit very, very, oh, there they are. Both of them have charging cases. They will charge right inside their cases. Felicia likes purple, mine are black. You can get mine in, I think, black or white. Which, which colors do these come in? Uh, black, silver, I think, and purple. That's, think. A, that's a great deal. Look at that, they're 25% off. That's a really good deal on those guys. And these are the latest and greatest from Samsung too. They integrate great with, they both work with Apples, they both work with Androids and they both work with your Kindle to listen to Audible books. Great ideas. You don't want those big ear muffs on your ears, especially on hot days in the sun. It's no fun. All right, so I have my USB wall charger. Let's see if that works. That should be on the bed right behind the suitcase. There you go. All right, so this thing here, let's see if it fits in there. I'm not sure if that fits. So this thing will turn, no, nope, it doesn't work. This one's not gonna work on the new ship. Does it work over here in this port? I know in the old ships, this will turn one outlet into five. It plus, might work on that one back there. Maybe it will work on this, but it's going to cover this. 
There you go. It does. It works. It fits right on here. So we're going to turn one outlet into five outlets and it's gonna it's gonna cover the switch here but that's no big deal and also gives you three usb ports so power on a ship because you've got so many things to plug in <laughs> pop that guy in there now we have five outlets hey aaron thanks that's for joining amazing you've got so many things did i tell you guys we have a butler Oh yeah, we have a butler. I don't oh even my gosh, know what, how cool is that? I don't even know what that means. I don't either. I'm your butler. I'm like, what do we need a butler for? And he goes, well, you come with the suite. I said, what will you do for us? He's like, anything. I said, do 10 jumping jacks. What did he do? <laughs> he did five because he didn't want to ruin his suit, but that's pretty cool too. Such nice people too. Oh, what is heavens. nice on, next on the, uh, what is nice? What is nice on the, um, <laughs> the, the carousel? Um, the carousel, your um, over the door hangers. I just put them on your oh, suitcase. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Felicia. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got two of these two. Remember we Aaron told says you. says you're looking fabulous. Well, thank you. You look fabulous too, Aaron. Probably look more fabulous than me. I'm schwitzing like I don't even right. know what. All right, so space is a problem. Aaron, we didn't even barely get our feet on the, the, uh, the ship, and Captain Kate met us at the top of the, the gangway and um, was quite impressed with um, Tim's uh, jacket and the level of stripes that he has. She was so impressed that she put a video on TikTok. <laughs> So you can find it out there under Captain Kate McHugh. <laughs> we didn't expect that. I didn't think we were going to meet her till tomorrow, but she happened to be, she knew we were coming and she was standing out there waiting for us. I guess she heard we checked in. And yeah, it was so cool. It was cool. She was standing out there she waiting. It just shocked me. I just totally wasn't ready for it. She's awesome. He didn't know what to say. He was kind of speechless. I was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it was really hard to make me he's, speechless. He's never speechless and this was, he got her. She, she got, got him. me. She knew she was going to get me. She's good. She's good. But we feel like we're in safe hands despite all the craziness going on. So that's great. All right. So we're setting up our cruise room here. I'm going to take these out because they look gaudy and nasty. So this thing here is going to give you some more space. It's going to give you some vertical storage place for your toiletry. Should we put this in the bathroom or yep. would you put it out here? Yeah, put it in the, on the door. Come on into my bathroom You here. can just open the door. I think you can get it from here. There you go. I'll do it right here. It's already here. got hooks on it. All right. So, oh, look. Yeah. No, they've got these things on here. These are oh, too yeah, big. Oh, yeah, they're too big. So we could flip these guys over the door. They're right behind like that. And then this guy should pop on like this. Or do you think you could use your magnets? I don't on know the door? if these doors are steel. And then pop that on like that. And now I've got clear door storage. That's great. Look at that. So you can put your shampoo in here, your brushes. And what's nice about this is it's clear. So you can see right through it exactly what you're looking for when you want it. And you don't have to use drawer space for I this. Love it. I think this thing is fabulous. We have one more, mm -hmm. which I'm going to put in this room over the laboratory door. And this is another one. This is actually meant to be a shoe rack. So Felicia may put some shoes in here. This thing is considerably bigger. This comes with four. I didn't know I had extras. I could have used these at home. And again, storage, oh, that's what it's all about. And these are a little different. These are thicker. I don't know if this is going to work here. Let's try this over the door here. This room is so cool. It is a beautiful room. It's a suite. It's called a sky suite. Yeah, it's so pretty. A little bit bigger than your average room. And this guy, you can put your brushes in here, your shampoo, and you still have full access to the door. You can put it inside there if you wanted to, if you didn't want to see it. Having all these extra storage spaces was really super helpful when we were traveling with the kids. That's right, yeah. So you can put something right in there and it's going to hold it up. And again, this is clear. Our last one wasn't clear. So it was really difficult to see what we had in here. But the fact that we can put this stuff in here makes it really, really convenient to see exactly what it is so you don't have to go digging for it. Maybe we had nope. to go digging. We're like, where is that? I don't know. But it makes so much more space and it's just so much more sense in a small confined area. And again, these ideas are great for um, hotels. They're great for dormitories. They're great for small apartments, places where you really don't have a lot of space to store things. We can actually put this over the shower too. It may actually make sense, give you a little bit of privacy because this is a glass door. Or you, can, you probably couldn't put this inside. I think it'll get wet. Because this window actually looks out from the bathroom. You can see in until you pull these things closed. And it makes a really neat little mirror, both of these closed. 
But I really like all the additional light in this room. I think it's really, really cute. Don't you? I love the light. Yeah, I think it's, it's amazing. Especially in the morning when you're getting ready. And it's usually so dark in these bathrooms. This really, really illuminates this bathroom. It's a beautiful arrangement. Very, very nice. I've never seen anything like this before. The window out to the world. What's next in our carousel? This little blue plug. So you excited. Have it? Let me see where I think that's in here, where you too. Have it. I really had to rush. It was a last minute deal. Here oh, it is. He's looking for it. I've got it. Will you stop showing off the port? All right, so this is the little plug. I figured on some of the new ships, you're not going to have those two plugs. So you may have to use one. They've kind of become a little bit more, I guess, uh, stingy in terms of space. So this turns one into three. Plus, it's got two USB, the That's Tron. Nice. A lot of people are using this guy, so let's see if this fits. So I'm going to put this in like this. And yeah, that fits perfectly like that. And she's lit up. She's ready to go. So now I have three instead of one. The one's in the back, so it's a little weird to get to. You're going to need something thin back there, but I can use the two here and another one here and a USB. So <laughs> how cool is that, right? One to three. I can also take this and put this over here if I didn't want to use this one, which I may not use here. I don't want to be able to get to the switch. I can plug it in over here and turn one to three. Rosalinda Probably. is just loving the room. <laughs> it is a beautiful room. Really, really. For a cruise ship, this is a lot of space. How many square feet are in here? Do I you don't think? know, but it's um, <clears throat> much bigger than what we've been in before. Yeah, some of the smaller rooms. I think it's like 280 square feet in the patio. It's just that the, the balcony is amazing. I've never seen it that deep before. So this is a newer ship. Again, this was released in um, 2000. I'm going to let this little bug out of here. 2018 this was released so this is a fairly new ship a lot of them are kind of a little bit older so this they've really made some modifications in this thing that are very very impressive see this won't fit in here mm -mm. yeah this one won't fit in some of the newer ships now the other one typically you plug it in sideways like that but it's not going to fit in this particular unit so good thing we have both of those so you never know what you're going to walk into all right let me turn around because we're not silhouetted these things as soon as you get on the ship, they try to sell you these things. Why? Because you get something called a, sh what do they call this? Ship card or? Sea pass. Ooh, a sea pass. Yeah, thank you. So you pop this guy in here. And you need this basically for everything. Every time you go to a restaurant, every time you go to a bar, if you go to the spa for treatments, they're going to ask you for your sea pass. So you can pop that guy in here. I'm going to hide my, <laughs> my, my, my real name, my identity. And then you, wait, I'm going to put this on here. And look at my hair. <laughs> my hair is destroyed by this hat. And you've got your sea pass with you at all times. It's a lanyard and it has this little retractable doodad and it also comes off too. If you need to hold it up against the door or something that's far away, this comes off too. Now they charge you about 10 bucks a piece for these things on a ship. But you get two of these. I think, what's the price on these guys? Um, $9.97. Yeah, $9.97 for two, which is great. It's got a little uh, clip on the back, too. So you, if you're going to work and you need one of these cards for work, you just clip it on yourself and you can use it for not just for cruises, but so many different things, too. Press passes we've used it for, all kinds of other stuff, too. It's a great deal, and you get two of them in the case. What's next, Felicia? Your clear backpack. Ah, the clear backpack. Is that called the Vores Pack? Yes. I love this. I got so many backpacks because you go on excursions on cruises and you go through security. And I really have nothing to hide. So you can put everything you want in this thing. And when you go through security, they can see everything in here because the bag is clear. How cool is that? Look at that. It's a heavy PVC, which is real nice. So it's super strong. It's water resistant. It's got holders for your uh, bottled water or sodas or whatnot and also it's got some really nice thick straps on your shoulder they feel really good on your shoulder i'm surprised how good this feels you know what it feels like it feels like an old school backpack but with real good padding on it real good protection so if it rains which it does in these tropical environments sometimes you'll get a shower for 10 minutes and then it'll go away and disappear Just pop that on your back you're protected you're good to go I'm totally clear. Nobody can give me anything. Nobody can give me any grief saying you're trying to hide something in there because it's a clear backpack. How cool is that, right? 
Like very, it. very strong, tough PVC, great zippers. And again, the elastic um, enclosures on the side for your cups or your bottles or whatever you want to put in here. Very, very nice padded, thick, adjustable straps too. This is one of my favorite bags. Now, if you're in advertising or marketing, this is great because you can put your logo right in front here or whatever you're selling and people will see it. And you can't help. I mean, if somebody walks by with a clear backpack, you're going to want to look at what's inside. So it's a win-win for that situation. Keeps your stuff safe, dry, easy to carry, and displayable. That's one of the coolest things I noticed about this bag. Love this Vorus pack. It's a great bag. One of the... Um, one of my favorite backpacks for doing excursions. What else? Your marker, your markers. Oh, the markers. Let me see if I can find those. Do you remember where those ended um, up? They're in that little bag. The little bag. The one right there. This one? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Now the markers are good because these things, they're slated as dry erase markers, but they will also work on mirrors and doors and basically any flat surface. And again, they're dry erase, so things come right. Look at it, with a pink thing in it. Huh? Oh, there it is. Thank you, Felicia. You're so welcome. these things are really cool. So these are the Expos. You notice I've got a little microfiber cloth in here. And these little things that we'll talk about in a second. But look at the colors. Look how beautiful these colors are. They're super nuclear, so they look good under black light. You know what, what looks good? What's that? You better stop. Get away from that chocolate. It's mine. I called it. So this is a mirror. So I can take one of these guys and draw whatever I want on here. And it's just like writing on a dry erase board. Or I thought you were going to say heart Tina. I mean Felicia or whoever I am today. Felicia. <laughs> but no, celebrity got it. Celebrity I got wins. I hear but look you. at the colors, they just pop. So if yeah, you're leaving nice. a note for somebody, these things are really gonna pop. Because on a cruise ship, sometimes it's hard to track people. Sometimes the Wi Fi is a little squirrely. Sometimes you don't know where your kids are if you're traveling with children. Um, and you can leave notes, say, hey, at the gym back in an hour. Or at the buffet, meet us up there when people don't. Or getting a massage? Getting a massage for 100 minutes. But look at this, comes <laughs> wipes right off. Look at that. Real easy to clean up, comes right off. I'm going to try to write on the door. You think it'll work no, on the door? Not. No, it's not. Let's try. Come over no, here, Felicia. I'm not even going to watch let's it. Let's try. Come on, do this. No. This is going to be fun. This is not I've never be written fun. on a cruise ship door before. It's probably not a good idea. Come on, let's try it. Dude. Oh my gosh. No butler. Ready? You could have just done one more. Can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Wait, does it come off? You better hurry. Oh God, here comes the butler. Shh. He's, He's gonna so think we destroyed the entire ship. So I hope bad. Captain Case not watching. You're so bad. We're in such big trouble right now. Oh. But you can write messages on your outside door with these things. Can you <gasps> Hold on. I just noticed this big glass thing. <laughs> um, um, such fun. Gifts is the name of our channel on Amazon Live. Make sure you follow us and you'll be aware of every time we go on live. We're going to go on live every morning with our new... I'm not going to tell you right now. We have a new thing. Every time I do something new, Gina steals it. So we're not doing that anymore. Oh, I'm not telling you anything because... Um, <laughs> never mind. I'm not going to talk about that. But such fun gifts. Just remember that and follow us. What's next in our carousel? Did you want to point out your little post-it thingies? Let's talk about these post-it notes now. If you don't want to write on the glass like that, you don't have to deface your entire room like somebody just did. These are like little reusable post-it notes. And basically the back pulls off and they stick on anything flat. Look at that. So you can write your notes on here instead of here. Felicia uses these at home all the time. Pop. And they work the same way. You just take your, any, really any, you don't have to use these, but any uh, dry erase markers and write your notes on there. And then when you're done with them, just erase them and reuse them. I mean, how much have you spent on dry erase markers over the past couple of years? It's hard to see. This. It's hard to see there. Yeah, let me put them over here. That's okay. I'll move it over here. Any flat surface, the TV. There you go. On the mirror, they work on the door, on the walls. It should work on this wall. 
any flat surface. Oh, maybe Oops. not that one. <laughs> That's not really flat. This will work here. Any flat surface is going to work on tables, on books, on flat walls, on TVs, on mirrors, on windows. Basically anything you want to deface, but not permanently. <laughs> you can do it with these guys. Can you go erase the stuff on the door? Why? Because you make me nervous. No, just leave it there. It's funny. Oh I can't wait gosh. till they knock it. Sir, you cannot put this on the door. All right, what is next in our carousel? Why, thank you, Rosalinda. She just purchased everything in the carousel. Rosalinda, you're like a goddess to us. I swear <laughs> to goodness. I'm going to come out there to California. We're going to hang out and have lunch. I'm buying you lunch at your favorite restaurant. Your beach towel clips. Beach towel clips. She asked us about this thing. Yes, she did. Let's show it All right, to her. Let's talk about that. Can I sit on this table? I'm going to sit on this No, table. get off of that table. It's squishy. It's going to get off of that table. <laughs> get over here and sit down. I want to Oh, oh I just broke it. All right. <laughs> So this is the master lock that uh, Rosalinda asked about. And uh, this is really cool because there's a couple different things it does. Number one, you can put your stuff inside it. And Felicia has all her fake Benjamins, her Amazon gift card, all this stuff inside of here. And then you can lock it as you're sitting by the pool. All right? So you lock it. You can't get it open. You change your combination. Nobody can get into it, right? People are like, well, that's dumb. I could just steal this whole thing. No, nah, you can't do that. Because there's another form of protection. Watch this. It's got a steel cable, like a bike cable. So you just tie it around something that's stationary, like this, a table or a chair or a big pole. And you pop it in here like this, and it uses the same combination. Now they got to take the table and your stuff. That's not likely to happen, is it? No. Rosalinda wants you to see. <laughs> what are you doing? She wants us to what? She wants you to fill it up. She wants to see how much stuff you can put in. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, let's see what we can put in there. So we've got cash in here. Oh, here. Let's you have your phone. Oh, oh, whoops. You're going here. You hold on. That's important. Wait, hold on, guys. All right, so let's put your headphones in there. Here. We're going to put our AirPods. Where's your yeah. iPhone? Put one. You'd only put one in here. I don't have my iPhone. I don't know where it is. <laughs> you can put your passport oh, in here. here. Here, here. Oh, the passport without here. the holder. iPhone in here. What else? Um, Wait a minute. What is this? Your expensive designer glasses in here. Is it going to fit two phones in here? No, oh, that's not going to fit. This one. No, that's going to fit. But you could put your... No, you can't honestly put a whole lot. You wouldn't put your glass case in here. You put your glasses, glasses in here. So you've had some expensive... You've got some gazals going on. You pop them in there. Close right up like that. So you can put a significant... I mean, you can't put your whole life in here, but... I mean, a phone, a pair of expensive sunglasses, your earbuds, some cash, some credit cards. Things you don't want people to mess with if you need to get up and use the facilities. Lock it up. Closed. Now, it does. I, this is not waterproof. It's water resistant. So if it rains on it, it's going to be able to really beat away the water for the most part. But what's really cool about this, it has these two little holes. So if you have a thin pair of earbuds or something that are cabled and are not wireless, you can actually put this out and actually charge your phone or listen to your earphones through the little holes in these things. Now it's really small. I don't see many earphones going through this unless you have a really thin cable, but it is a possibility and you probably could make it a little bit bigger. Then you want to open it up, grab your stuff out. You're good to go. Now again, it's not really big. I don't know how big this is. I think the measurements are in the product description, but you can store a considerable amount of stuff in here, but don't get crazy, okay? Keep your cash, maybe your passport without the passport holder in there, maybe your earbuds and a phone. It definitely will hold just about it. We had a Sam, what is this? You had your Samsung, this is a, a Note 20. Note 20, one of the biggest phones in production, closes right up. So that's pretty cool. The iPhone 12 Pro Max, which I have, fits in here. I put mine in here. Again, I use this in my Jeep because I can't lock my Jeep. I love this thing. This is one of my favorite tools. I'm going to put this out by the pool and I'm going to chain it up to my chair and see if somebody tries to get into it. This, I'm just going to test people. I do this all the time, believe me. And maybe I'll put the results on this channel. So I think that is uh, one of the greatest things, especially if you're traveling. It's good for softball games, for uh, you go know, soccer, if you do anything really outside, by the pool, at the beach, anything really. Great idea. It's in the carousel below. Is that on sale? That sale may be over. No, I think that sale is over, yeah, but once in a while it'll go on sale. So add it to your cart and keep an eye on this guy. What's next? Your um, your radios. 
my radios were there already all right so these things are crazy now these are professional radios they're really made for security let me tell you about security if you plan on coming on a celebrity cruise and doing something stupid don't because they got israeli security forces They're like retired israeli security <laughs> with the tattoos these guys are serious man israeli security forces retired guys I was talking to one of them earlier, and uh, I saw his tattoos, and he was impressed that I noted what, it was, what that was all about. But um, those guys don't mess around, so I feel extremely safe on this ship. These are the SAMCOMs. Now, these are super powerful. I can get from one side of the ship to the other on these guys. These are meant for security guards, for bouncers, for people who do private and events. We do concerts. We did a concert called IndyCon, and this is what we used at IndyCon. We were able to go almost a mile away on these guys. They're super powerful. They have the earphone attachment that comes with it. They have a charger that comes with it. And the um, basically the range on these things is insane. What's nice about this, you could buy like a 10-pack of these. If you press the group button, it will announce it to every SAMCOM within these frequencies. It has like, I think, 40 frequencies. You press the group, bu group button, it's going to send it to every one of those radios. So you could be on a separate channel with somebody else, and two other people could be on separate channels, so they're not interfering with each other, doing their job, or doing security or whatnot. Press the group button, everybody gets the message. I can't stress how far <laughs> these things go. I had them over a mile. In our home when we did our testing with these things and these are insane uh-oh something's happening what's going on now felicia are you in trouble what did you do felicia i think this is a test for the mustard drill seven and then a long one this is the mustard test if you ever hear that you're in trouble run to your mustard station and get a life jacket hopefully you never hear those seven beeps what's next in the carousel Turvis. Turvis, don't get nervous. It's a Turvis. Why do I always say that, Felicia? I don't even know. Because I'm insane. Well, mildly that's insane. A, that's a true statement. Where They're in I your put, clear where bag. Where did I put them? Your clear bag. Oh, I put them in the clear bag. Okay, thank you. All right, so those are cups. Now, when you get drinks on cruise ships, they give you these plastic cups, which essentially they just bleed and they leak all over the place and they leave a nasty water trail. And they don't think. They don't really keep things cool. Now, these are insulated cups. Alexa, Tim's always in trouble. Uh, let me take this stuff out of here. We did part of our packing is we put stuff actually in the cup to conserve Ooh, a little bonus. bit of space. Yeah, right? So, these are Turvis cups, and we use these at home all the time. We use them for coffee, for hot drinks, for cold drinks. Um, what's important to know is they sell the, t the tops individually. So, the cup is one price. And it's insulated. It's non, uh, what is it, BPA plastic. And what's nice about these things is you can knock them over and nobody cares. They're unbreakable. We've thrown these around, dropped them off the top of our car, off our bumpers, and uh, they just keep lasting. There's a whole bunch of different options. You can get these handles if you want to do a hot cup, although they never get hot on the outside because they're insulated. There's two layers of plastic here. So they keep my coffee hot for several. It takes me several hours in the morning to drink my coffee. So Felicia will make me coffee at what, five in the morning, mm -hmm. six in the morning, mm -hmm. right before we get up to do the morning show. I'll tell you more about that later. And uh, my coffee is still warm at nine o'clock in the morning. And also it does the same thing with cold drinks too. If you want to get a nice cup of ice water, iced tea, an adult beverage is going to keep it nice and cold all night. Felicia, you like to have water at night, right? I do. You will get a bottle or like a cup of water before mm -hmm. you go to, to sleep. Yep. And what happens to that water in the cups they give you in the cruise ship? They sweat. They sweat, they leak, and it's not cold anymore, nope. is it? But in these things, does it keep it cold? It does. It's cold all night long, isn't it? It's very when you wake nice. up in the morning, you have your last dip. There's still ice in here, isn't there? Yep. So I love these things. Double insulated. Turvis Unbreakable. People have used these for years. It's actually an American company that started in Florida, I think, or they're in Florida now. I'm not exactly sure of the history. Look it up what's on their uh, Amazon page in the links below. Remember, they have straw lids. They have uh, hot and cold lids that are spill proof. And I knocked this over on my desk. I've had a full cup of coffee in the morning and I've knocked it over. Thankfully, it was in the closed position. I was able to pick it up before it spilled anything anywhere and I was so happy with this. Dropped them, they bounce, they don't break, they don't dent like the stainless steel cups. 
So these Tervises are great. They're a great idea. Something else is happening. What's happening? That sounds almost majestic, doesn't it? Thank you very much, Captain, and a very good afternoon to each and every one of you. And Can you hear that? Again, on board the beautiful Celebrity Edge. This is Lauren, your cruise director, and I couldn't feel more proud than I do right now as we make history as the first cruise ship as Can you hear that? Well known to sail out of the USA since our port and operation began over 15 months ago. It has certainly been an emotional day so far, but I really do hope that you are feeling settled on board your new home away from home for this seven night Western Caribbean voyage. As your head of entertainment, I will keep you informed of all activities, shows, and lots more. Plus, keep you up to date with our other service partners and their offerings. Can you hear this? Can y'all hear this? Another way you can stay well informed is by downloading these. There's an app and everything. Okay, we'll tell you about that later too in our morning show. All right, what's next in the carousel? Uh, your backpack, but while you're grabbing that, uh, AC says, Bon Voyage, you guys are the best. Love the Unbreakable Cups, great for the poolside coffee Thank or you. other such fun beverages. It's for such fun. You know exactly what we're talking about. Not that backpack, but if you want to show that one, that's This one fine. or the other one? Your big one on the floor. Now, this one is insane. This is a laptop bag, really. It's a computer bag, but it holds a 17-inch. I have this big, giant 17-inch. But look at all the compartments. And you know what's really cool is once you zip this, you can't even see the zippers, can you? Will you stop grabbing that chocolate? Get over, give me that. Get, Felicia, no, your diet. What is the matter with you? We're on vacation. Look, you can't even see these zippers, can you? They're like almost camouflaged inside, but so many places to hold things in here. This is my 17-inch Alienware laptop. It fits in here perfect. This is the biggest laptop I have ever seen. This is my face, and this is the laptop. This laptop is super big, okay, and it fits in here effortlessly. It distributes the weight really well, and it has really nice, comfortable like, straps and some really good padding in exactly the right places. So I love this thing. Actually, I'm going to unpack it now. I'm so excited. I got all my stuff in here. My microphones to do interviews later. They call this a fuzzy kitten. <laughs> it almost looks dirty. But uh, this is my microphone here that I'm going to do interviews with, the MKH4. Uh, never mind, we'll talk about that later. I have a whole thing for streaming and stuff. So everything, I've got my whole life in here. My headphones, my microphones, basically everything I use to do interviews with and everything that you would need to work. It's got my studio monitor Sony's, my cruise review stuff in here. So many things I could stuff into this bag. It was super comfortable to carry. Again, the straps are great and the padding is in all the right places. Secret compartments everywhere. And it comes with a couple locks as well. Very, very happy with this bag. It's by Kroger. I think they have supermarkets in the United States. They still have, is Kroger still around? Kroger is, but that says Crozier. Oh, Crozier, Kroger's, yeah. Crozier. Yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. close enough. It's in the carousel <laughs> below. Kroger, Crozier. I call them Kroger. I like to call it Kroger. Okay. I like to be comfortable you do, you with my stuff. You do you, as I say. So I like to be comfortable with things when I'm going around, so I'm going to call it Crozier now. Thanks, Tim Cruz, for Cruise Reviews. I'm out. Okay, what else do we have in a carousel? Is Gilligan with us? Gilligan is here today. His shirt's here. Where is it? And he will be on this channel this week on the morning show. I can't tell you what's going on this channel. I can't tell you right now. I'm on a non-disclosure. So this is Gilligan's shirt and his hat, which are not in the carousel, but they will be in the carousel. The when shirt Gilligan is in the carousel. The hat is not. <laughs> it's not. I couldn't find it. I can't find this hat. Skipper. Hey, little buddy. So Gilligan will be live on this channel a little bit later this week on the morning show. <laughs> Slipping with that. What else is in our uh, carousel, Felicia? My hat. This hat? My hat. <gasps> Look at her hat. Oh my God, no that is fabulous. Look at you. I love my that hat. is a Zoron. Yep. It's a wonderful hat. It is a wonderful hat. It looks really good. It's not blown off one time. Is it comfortable? It is very comfortable. Is it super tight? No, it's not very tight. Can I try it? You want to? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. How do I look in this hat? Oh, yes. Driving Miss Daisy right there. Uh -huh. Don't do that. Okay. Does it look good? It doesn't look It looks much better on Felicia. Let's look at Felicia with her no, hat let's, hair. No, let's oh, not. you just no. missed it. Oh, my goodness. It was almost there. No, no it was hair. so, almost so no close. Hair. Who's Alexa? Is Hi, it, Alexa. Is it Alexa? Is Alexa's it, here. I know. Is it our Ale Alexa? Like Alexa, Alexa? If I, I say, like Alexa, turn down my lights, will something happen? 
Did I just mess everybody up? Yeah. I hope probably. we're not a speaker. All right. Oh so my God, my hat. So go go my over to my luggage and grab our hydro cell cups. Hydro cell. Oh, I love these cups. So we were talking much. about the um, Tervis. Don't mm -hmm. get nervous. It's a Tervis. These I really should charge him for that slogan. These are what I love. These are great too. Again, these are stainless steel. So if you drop these, these could dent. But what you need about these is they have two different types of lids. They come with these. I mean, you don't have to order these separately. Like Tervis, you have to order the top separately. These come with it. So there's this lid that pops up and they come with straws. They're mine. They're in yours. And um, there's so many. I love the colors on these things. Again, Cricut. Did you Cricut that? I did. And then this guy too with the straws. And they come with two straws each. And you pop these guys on here and boom, you've got a nice little straw induced thing. But if I don't want to use that lid with the straw? You don't have to. You so can just put I, this aside. What I do? And then put this guy. This is a one. thermal lid. And you screw this guy on. I think this is more for hot things. Your coffee would stay hot like all day. It with would that. be a little too hot in here. Stainless steel. Yours is wet inside. You should probably I just leave this open. It out. Whoo, stank. <laughs> Smell that feet. And uh, yeah, mine's dry. So yeah, you can pop this in. You can put coffee in here. You can put cold beverages, hot beverages, whatever you want to put in here to keep the dust out. And I just, I'm a big fan of these colors. They're gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Really? Hydrocell just did really, they just nailed it. It looks like car paint too. It's a real nice thing. We've run these through the dishwasher a couple times too, and they still look pretty good. So Hydrocell, again, the cups they give you on cruise ships, you're going to want to bring your own cups because the cups they give you, they're open, they sweat, they don't keep things cold or hot. These are going to give you the thermal insulation to keep things cold when you want to keep things cold or hot when you want to keep things hot, especially at night. Otherwise, you're going to use the mini bar and they're going to charge you through the teeth for that thing. It's like it's $4 for a bottle of water and we've done that before. How much? Two more things. Two more things? <laughs> What's that? Just keep going. I'm going to keep going. Okay, Just good. So going. Those are very, very cool. Love these things and we're going to use these a bunch on this cruise. What else is in our thing? Did you bring the color changing lights? I did. Let you me did? see if I can find that. Mm -hmm. uh, I packed everything last minute in a hurry, threw everything in here. Let me see. Oh, what's that? I did. Look. Oh, there you go. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but at nighttime it gets super dark in these cruise rooms. And um, you don't want to leave your real lights on, so you can plug one of these in. This is a GE color changing LED light. So you would plug that in here. You probably plug this in the bathroom, right? Should we try that in the bathroom? And it's got a sensor on it. I don't know where it is on the top. Let's try it in the bathroom. Let's come to the bathroom and show this. You really just want to, a lot of people leave their bathroom light on all night, but it's kind of really stupid bright. And you don't want all that light. So let's turn this light off. How do you turn these lights off, Felicia? And I'm going to close these. It's going to really dark in here. And I'm going to plug this in over here. Maybe. Oh, it's on the switch here. What's the switch? Oh my God, what did I just do? I think I broke it. Oh my God. What are you doing? I don't know. It won't fit in here with the switch. Oh, there's a switch here. Wait a minute. Oh, all right. I can't do it in here. All right, so it's not going to work. This is a new cruise ship, so they've changed some things around, so that doesn't. But it would fit. work out here. It would work it out here, and on old cruise ships, it'll work. I don't have any work really to dark, but I can tell you what it does. It changes colors. So basically, you press this button. Will you stop showing people and showing off at the port? We're on a cruise ship, Felicia. You think people don't believe us? Will you stop this? That's the Equinox. We're on the Celebrity Edge. So basically you press this button and it changes colors at night. I can't show you in here. It doesn't fit in the bathroom. Does it fit? No, it won't fit on that either. Okay. Our phone's blinking. Are we in trouble? Yeah, I think the you're in trouble again. probably yell this again. All right, so um, will you stop doing that? <laughs> Here's the light sensor on the box. So you press this button and it changes colors. And it gives you a nice little night light. It's a whole There's, rainbow of colors. It really, really is. We use this at home too, but this is really helpful on a cruise ship. Well, in most cruise ships, it probably won't plug in. <laughs> I don't know where to plug it in. Uh, again, this is a newer cruise ship, so we're, these are they won't fit in here either. It's a little different than our typical plugs. Normally in a cruise ship, you have like these wide open double plugs, but here it's not going to work. But 
At home, these are going to work great too. In hotel rooms, these are perfect for hotel rooms as well. What else is on our carousel, Felicia? Um, the last thing looks to be your laundry collapsible hamper. Oh, thingy. this is my magic trick. So you get a lot of dirty laundry and you don't want to put it next to your clean laundry, right? And you just want to throw it on the floor because that's slobby, like this room right now. And um, <laughs> watch this. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, which way? Dun, dun. I've got a hamper. Look at that. So my dirty stuff's dirty. I put this in the bottom of my closet, just drop my stuff in here, and I've got it separated. I don't have to worry about it. At the end of my cruise, I can fold it back up or just throw this in my suitcase. Actually, we're going to do laundry service because we have a suite and we have laundry service as part. We're so spoiled today. We don't normally do suites, but Felicia's getting older, so she can't handle regular rooms. Exactly how many days older are you than me? Uh, I think you're seven days older than no, me to you the don't, day. You cannot do that. I think that. we might be twins, which would be kind of weird. <laughs> so this is really cool. This is a great idea for dorms, for small apartments. Just a nice little foldable thing. And then when you're done with it, you can fold it back up. Let me see if I can do this. And bring it with you. And then it twists into this, this little circle. <laughs> I always have a hard time with this. Get in that circle! Get in there! <laughs> And then wow. something like this, and then you just put, where's the wow. thing? I can't find it. I don't it. even know what oh, there you just it is. did. And then you just like put it in a little thing. And... Hey! <laughs> All right, never mind. So this is a great idea, and we're going to use this on our cruise. Let's just open it up anyway. That's funny. I forget my magic trick. I can't do magic with some other people I know. But that's it. Is that all we have in our carousel? That's it. Now that's listen. Everything. I know you people on the West Coast, it's going to be like 3 a.m., but we're going to try to come on a couple of times this week from 7 to 9 a.m. We're going to do a morning show here on Amazon Live. We're going to try. By myself and Felicia. I can't guarantee we're going to do it all this week because the uh, Internet's going to be a little spotty at sea, so we're going to see how our signal is. If it works, great. If not, we might not be able to do it that day. But make sure you follow us. Is it up this way? I think so. That way? Yes. Hover over, click that follow button. And you'll be aware of every time we go on live. We're going to go on several times, too. If we see anything weird happen on this ship, we're going to report to you first. Before our friends at NBC. She took my phone number, didn't she? She took your phone number. <laughs> she interviewed us as we were waiting to go into the port, to the terminal. And you'll see it on NBC News number. tonight. Watch NBC News and you will see There are us. a lot of reporters on this boat. There, there are a lot of crews. There's AP, there's uh, CBS, ABC, Associated Press is on here. Like Everybody who's anybody is it's on crazy. this ship because it is historic. It's the first ship to leave an American port in 15 months. And we're happy to be here. We're hoping everything's gonna be great. I'm confident that Captain Kate's gonna do a great deal of uh, what she does. She the just, crew's been fantastic up to this point. They're the super crew, excited. They're so happy to be here. Yeah. And everybody who on, on the ship is really happy to be here yep. too. And yep. we're super happy too, because it's very cool. the first step of getting back to normal, really, that's what it's all about. So thank you for joining us. Hope you're getting back to normal this weekend. For Felicia B., my name is Tim Cruz, and we will see you at uh, various times during this weekend. We'll do some more of these shows, too, showing some more of these products once we get this room all set up and how everything kind of jives. It's going to take an hour or so to put this together, but uh, you'll see how cool it looks once it's all done with all these things we showed you today. All right, for Felicia, I'm out. We'll see you on the open seas. Bye! Bye! Who's... What are you doing?